It's called Drunken Church. It's the real. It was from uh, the Eliminated the Excuses sermon. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was essentially, as we do in this church, just telling everybody that, you know, we accept you as you are, not that you are meant to stay that way. And I kind of, you know, the Holy Spirit just kind of took off yeah. with me and I was just excited. You know, if you're, if you're drunk in church, uh, you know, if you, if you're an alcoholic or whatever, and you came to church and you were drunk in church, if you were high in church, I made a joke about if they did cocaine in the bathroom, uh, you know, that I'm glad they're, just that they're glad there. You're this here. is exactly where they need to be. And you would imagine that any Christian under the sun with... Would that be like, yes. Yes, exactly. But apparently uh, they took it as we were not only endorsing cocaine use, but apparently we also provide it in the, in the bathrooms. Nothing could be further. Uh, it is amazing to me. Um, I'm not going to be politically correct. It is amazing to me the stupidity of people. Uh, I wanted to skirt around it, you know, be nice, but no, it's stupid. Well, we're, that we're such really a dumb. snippet society. We only see little snippets. If you want to see the entire thing, go to our YouTube channel. Um, eliminate the excuses. Eliminate the excuses. Our app. You the can real, search it. It's right there. The real is drunk in church. Uh, so good. And it was, it, that just exploded and took off. Um, so good. And we've got a lot of new people on our Facebook from it. A lot, and yeah. I've gotten messages from people that have been struggling, uh, that have saw that they saw that yeah. and then they branched out from there and started watching other clips so i don't mind That's the bad because we get Come more on. good it's about eight you know eight to nine out of ten good and then you get the one bad guy and it's really easy to focus on the bad